We may have seen our next guest in many reoccurring roles over the years, as well as right here on The Blend. Florida's own Susan Gallagher is back to catch us up on all of her projects, both in front and also behind the camera, yeah. which I like talking about. Welcome Thank back. You. How Thank are you. Thank you so much. It's good to be back. I'm great. So I think we need an update. Of course, we were uh, chatting about the latest project that you're working on, which people here on our show are loving. You're part of the Cobra Kai that's out there. Part of the Cobra Kai family, which is a continuation of the Karate Kid. Yeah. But you don't have to be familiar with the Karate Kid to love Cobra Kai. And I play the part of Lynn, a homeless woman. And she lives um, right outside of the, the Cobra Kai dojo. And she's quite a force to reckon with. She is sassy and... Um, a blast to play as an actor, and I'm grateful to be part of the series. Well, you were sharing with me the audition process, though, and I think we can take <laughs> lessons for that. Maybe you're uh, wanting to book some roles, or, or even like in life, you always hear that you have to do your research for the job that you're applying for. You really took that to heart to get this part, right? I did, Natalie, because playing a homeless woman is something that my agent is not typically going to submit me for, okay. right? And I actually saw this uh, on a self-submission self site called Actors Access, and I uh, shooting in Atlanta, it's a homeless woman, and, and, and it said something about um, be outside of the box. And I thought, you know what, I, I'm, I'm going to audition for this role. So I put myself on tape, and I wore like my husband's old sweatpants and this big sweatshirt, and I just messed up my hair, and I put all this dark makeup underneath my eyes. I whited out my lips and really, really tried to get into this character. And then I got a call back, and I thought, oh, crap. What am I going to do now? Oh, I you know, do this. <laughs> yeah, I can't be friendly and smiling or whatever in this uh, audition and callback process. So I went in character and I stayed in character the entire time, and I got the role. And again, it's a and, role in a show that people are loving as yeah, well. Yeah, huh? and it's such a blast, a blast to play. Bet. It's so different than anything I've done. And it's funny because the big three, who were the creators of Cobra Kai, mm -hmm. they had never seen me when I was not in character, full-blown character. I mean, I'm filthy from head to toe. They, the hair and makeup department do a wonderful job. They, they put dirt makeup from head to toe, my nails, my hands, my feet, everything. And then the costume just makes it. Which is fun then to dress up and show everybody like, hey guys, I can dress up too, yeah, right? Yeah, actually, actually I was with Queering, the other show that I'm, yes. I'm recurring. Actually, I'm a series regular in that show. And we were at South by South by Film Festival in Austin um, for Queering. And Cobra Kai was doing a, see, a preview of episodes one and two of season two. So I got to go <laughs> and see the guy. So it was the first time they had ever right. seen me yeah. the way I normally am. And it, it was quite interesting. It was really funny. You, well, you touched on query and let's yes. go there as well because okay. that's something else that people are raving about we're actually taking a look about it explain <laughs> what this is and where people can watch it is free on YouTube you just type in querying and we've done two seasons it is funny it is um, heartbreaking it is real it's very authentic and Leticia deport deporte is just a genius writer and she's done a wonderful job bringing this um, you know, to, to YouTube, and it's querying on querying web series on YouTube. You know, I'm curious. We, of course, are talking about your acting now, but then you also get behind the camera and do good work as well. Why is it so important for you to balance both having the on camera to feed the actor need, the actor bug that you have, right. and then also give back in a way as like a production company like you have? Well, I love the acting process, and that's that's kind of my first passion. After my kids were grown and gone, you know, and I had been doing it for years, just kind of part-time while they were growing up, and then when they were gone, I just really had to dive myself into it, and my husband's like, go do it. Yeah. I mean, he didn't want to be my next project, yeah. right? So, um, but then, you know, as I got older, Natalie, the, the phone didn't ring as much, and I got tired of waiting for my, my agent to call, and I wanted to feel like I had a little bit more control over my future and my career, and so some friends and I, we started Her Little Red Productions, and we didn't really know what we were doing, but I got to the point where I was not afraid to fail and um, started producing and writing and um, doing some short films. I uh, had a documentary that we had mm -hmm. here a couple of years ago. And it's just been a wonderful experience and it's given me an opportunity. It's an all-female production company. We have a token guy every now and again. I mean, we love our guys. <laughs> I but like that, yeah, the token yeah, yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's all-female run and we try to focus on female-driven projects that empower women. And I just think that's important for me, as especially as I, I get older. I, I love to 
to try to empower younger women and whether it's in acting or filmmaking or just life in general. We gotta stick together, the girl, the girl power. I like this. <laughs> you know, I'm coming away so much with this interview. Empowered, talking about a job interview, <laughs> women power, and yeah. of course aging. You've yeah. tackled it all, yeah. but you gotta come back because you always have new things on Thank the horizon. Thank you so much Sounds for having good. me. It's good to see you. Nice to see you as well.